Welcome back to the Funny Farm. We got a good one for you guys today. Hope you enjoy the video. Stick around. We're going to try to work on a recovery, maybe equipment recovery, maybe a tractor recovery. I'm going to go check out an old abandoned farm property that someone had sadly passed away. And they might have some, uh, some cool things for us to go and check out. So stick around. I think you'll like it. So we're heading to New Alexandria, uh, somewhere near Pittsburgh, above Pittsburgh, I think. And uh, my brother and I are going to go take his truck and trailer and uh, see if we can find anything worth, uh, worth saving. All right, I have this full of wrenches, flathead screwdrivers, PB Blaster, WD-40, mystery oil, um, carb cleaner, starting fluid, um, anything you might need. Um, if we want to try to get anything going that we might see at this property. I also have air tools. We have some air, uh, fuel, oil, battery charger, six volt battery, uh, 12 volt battery, because I'm not sure if anything needs any of those. Funnels as well. I'm gonna go ahead and change my clothes, but on this Sunday, uh, instead of NFL uh, Sunday. You know, I don't really need any more extra projects. The, the A is almost out of here. We're still working on the Ford, uh, but you know, I'd like to say something that, and not go to the scrapyard. You know, it's really, is it gonna go to us who we're gonna restore something or is it gonna go to the scrapyard? And I really hate to see anything go to the scrapyard if I can, uh, you know, if I can save it. I mean, it's kind of exactly what you're looking for. It's a little bit bigger. It's a little bit bigger, but I mean, I do like my International. I don't think for today, honestly. Right. Pin on both sides and a center pin. Yeah. You just change the oil. The mud that I was pushing out and it sunk. <laughs> and I pulled the three pins and stuff under it and ended up driving up over the blades of that. Went straight ahead and down over the back. <laughs> Bank. Right. Then I got a long chain and drug the, <laughs> the blade out. Didn't hurt it any. No. <laughs> yeah, they're both nice though. Which one? The most hilarious is the steel. Yeah, if you could change the steel. <laughs> you could get lucky with the deal for flying up. Hot though. Mm -hmm. You'll start spinning it over, yeah. Because there's the carburetor for the... Back in the heyday. Yeah. Nice KB Sears International. This is really cool. Too bad it's so rotted out there. Anything in here? Oh, yeah, she's in there all right. Is that a flathead? Not sure what that says. Waddle? Wood? Wolden? Wolden Mills... PA Latrid Lat hmm. I'm not sure what this says, but it's a very cool letter. It's Rider says, please like and subscribe for some more action. <laughs> yeah.
both tractors are now unloaded and here at the farm. As you can see, we're gonna need to find some new skins for these tractors. Um, this one's missing a carburetor. This one's a 1951, it's missing a carburetor and it's locked up. But it seems to be pretty complete minus the carburetor. Should be a six volt generator. It's on the other side. These spark plugs. I think they all had Champion D19s or D16s in them. Look to be very, very old. It's been parked well over 10 years. There was something on top of this. I took it off when we drove. A little bit of fuel still in there, but it's mostly varnish. Just a pretty cool piece. This is a 1949. Does spin. So it's not locked up. Has this cool, cool mirror on it. <laughs> I like that touch. Uh, both hydraulic tractors, which are great. Uh, this one does have that carburetor on it. Six volt generator. They're going to need a lot of work. But like I said, they're not dead yet. And they're going to be great workhorses for a long time to come. So now that I'm home, I just wanted to showcase some of the cool things they gave us with these tractors. So we have our owner's manual for the Cub. There's two of these here. Original. Um, not in the best condition, but it's pretty cool. Um, some manuals for some of the attachments they have. The ignition packages grading blade, uh, some of the uh, sickle bar mowers they had there, and the, the rear rock chef unit, which is pretty cool. I thought that the coolest thing they had was a delivery report. So one of the cups was in 1949, the other was in 1951. Seems like the 1951 was delivered May 1st, 1950 to a new Alexandria PA to a Harry Tar, Harry M. Tar. And that's the farm that we were at, the tar farm. Um, this gentleman had passed away, and his son, one of his two sons, bought the property. That son had just passed away. So these tractors have not left that farm since originally delivered. So it was the original farm homestead for those tractors, which is really cool. And it has some of the pre-delivery service, all the cool things that they checked over. just a look at uh, what some of this shows kind of like a maintenance manual an operations manual it's pretty neat stuff some good pictures you can't get you can't beat that both these tractors had hydraulics which is really nice I just really wanted to share this. I thought it was so neat. I mean, how cool that they kept all this, you know, after 70 years, they kept all of this information. So again, I just really wanted to be able to say these from the scrapyard. If there's something we could do to do that and restore them, get these running. And that's, that's something I'd like. And with that, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a like and give us a subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything and it really helps me out. So until next time, uh, look out for our next Will It Start video.